Hi everyone and welcome again to my channel. Today we're going to talk about leverage. For the first time on this channel we're going to introduce this into our trading system although I have been very skeptical about it since I find it a risky approach. However these videos are mainly for educational purpose so I'm not really advising you to follow a leveraged trading system before you know exactly what it's all about. So we will take a previously used trading strategy that we already presented in previous videos and we're going to test the effects of leveraging our account and using algorithmic trading in an attempt to magnify our profits. So in brief, if you go for a leveraged account, it will work in the following way. Typically, you will have a leverage ratio between 1 over 10 up to 1 over 1000, although it's more likely to be something between 1 over 10 and 1 over 50. And this means that if you have an account with $1,000, you will be allowed to buy and sell positions with as high as $10,000 if you took the 1 over 10 ratio. Again, if you increase the leverage, let's say up to 1 over 50, it means that with the same amount of $1,000 in your account, you will be allowed to make purchases with up to $50,000 and so on. Now the leverage type you might have access to depends on your broker, the country it's in and its regulations and other parameters depending also on the account type you are dealing with. However, it's more likely to find low leverage accounts typically between 1 over 10 and 1 over 50, although some exceptions might go as high as 1 over 1000 and I myself did try this type of accounts where it was called a cent account. I only put $100 there and I could make trades with up to $100,000. So as you can see, it's a very powerful tool. However, it's not for free. The way things are always presented is extremely mild and you have to be aware that as much as this leveraging increases your power of winning, it also increases the risks of wiping out your account. And this is what usually beginners are preyed on by bigger traders or brokers. Two rules to keep in mind, leveraging can help magnify profits if your strategy has a high winning rate. But it will magnify your losses if your strategy has a low winning rate. Now what kind of rate is high or low, it will depend on many other parameters such as the strategy type, the stop loss take profit values and our money management scheme. So always remember leveraging comes with a price in the sense that if you are allowed to buy or sell positions with 100 times the amount of money you own, this would mean that your money is there just to cover for the loss, which can happen very quickly since you are trading with 100 times this particular amount. So in this video we will use Python to backtest the strategy we have used in the previous video check the returns using a normal account and then introduce the leveraged account into our algorithmic trading strategy. We're going to backtest all of this, check the results and see the advantages and the risks of using a leveraged account. The advantage here that we can change any parameter the way we'd like and see the effects on our return percentage. So we're going to use the power of computation to test and learn about advantages and disadvantages of using a leveraged account. So we're going to use the same Python code that we have used for the previous video where we talked about the Martingale approach in trading. The first cell is for loading the data and cleaning the data, resetting the index and so on. I'm not going to spend much time today on the code because we have seen it in the previous video and also in other videos where we have used almost the same parts of, these, uh, of this code. So we're using the support and resistance functions to detect support and resistance values. We also have functions, a set of functions to detect if we have engulfing patterns, bullish or bearish engulfing candles. Also, if we have any rejection patterns among candlestick patterns, we have a couple of functions to detect if we have a price that is close to resistance and support levels within a certain margin. So we're going to use the strategy we also used in the previous video in the sense that if we have a rejection candlestick patterns happening just close to our resistance or support level, we are going to consider this as a trend reversal signal and we're going to act accordingly in the sense that if we have a bearish trend reversal, we're going to generate a selling signal and if we have a bullish trend uh, reversal, we're going to generate a buying signal. Now in the previous video, we have tried to uh, include the martingale approach, which is happening here. So if you are interested in the martingale approach, you might as well go back to the previous video and watch this part. So for the moment, I'm going to put a comment 
our initial size of uh, position is around 10%. So it means that we are trading with 10% of the amount of our account. And if we run this particular strategy and we backtest it on our data, we are going to have 10% in return uh, as a profit. So it's a positive return, which means our strategy is a winning strategy. And this can be seen also on the equity graph that we can see here. So we have a positive slope always increasing. So it's good strategy to start working on. Now, ideally, when we don't use a margin, it means that we can trade with all the money we have into our account. So if I put 999 here, 0 0.999, actually, it means that I'm going to trade with all the money into my account. I'm going to swing it from one currency to another. Here we are using the euro versus the US dollar. So it means that I'm buying with all the sum of my account either euros or US dollars, depending on what I'm uh, detecting, we can see that we have a return percentage of 116%. So in other words, we have doubled our um, equity, our account, and we gained a bit more on top of that. Our winning rate is very interesting. We have 71.6%. So it's quite interesting uh, winning rate. And this is where we can use the leveraged account. This is very important to keep in mind because if you have a low winning rate, something below 50%, and you are making up for this by using a good money management strategy or using a good stop loss and take profit uh, ratios or distances, in other words, you are managing well your trades, it's a good thing because at the end you will have a positive return. However, if you are using this um, in algorithmic trading and you are intending to use a leveraged account, it might not play on your side. So remember, if you have a low winning rate along with a leveraged account, you might be increasing your risk. But this is not the case here. And this is a great demonstration I wanted to show you. When we have a high winning rate, we're going for the margin parameter here. And let's say we're going to start testing our trading with one over 10 leveraged account. So I'm going to retest this and we're going to see how much we are earning. The returns immediately jumped to 7,140%. So in other words, with $10,000 as a start, if I'm starting to uh, um, trade with $10,000 in my account, we are reaching an equity peak of $3,378,000. And the equity final is around $724,000. So this is really huge. Now remember our data frame contains data between the prices between 2003 up to 2021. In other words, this is almost 18 years of trading. So if you want to know how much this makes per year, we can divide the percentage that we have over 18. So I'm going to divide 7140 by 18 and it's almost 400%. So in other words, per year, we're going to earn four times the amount that we have deposited at the beginning of the year. Now, this is due to uh, two parameters that we are using here. First of all, of course, it's the margin. We are using a leveraged account, one over 10. So instead of dealing with $10,000, we are dealing with $100,000, only depositing 10,000 into the account. But also there's another parameter, which is uh, this one. We are dealing with the uh, total amount that we have. In other words, we are dealing with the whole $10,000 switching them back and forth between euro and uh, US dollars. And I think the fact that we didn't wipe out the account is simply that we are lucky here because if we change any of these parameters, let's change the stop loss and take profit values, for example, and we're going to retest our strategy with exactly the same parameters. So we are getting still 21 thousand percent in return which is also huge and our winning rate is increasing up to 77.9 percent which means around 78 percent uh, winning using this strategy again we can try two more values for the take profit and stop loss and check one more time what it's all about so we're still having 17 thousand percent 
as a return percentage in this case and the equity final is around one million seven hundred and thirty one thousand dollars if you only invested ten thousand dollars with a margin of one over ten now increasing the margin is something that we would be tempted to do one over 20 for example and if we test again we get something also huge so we're getting um huge amounts uh, in return uh, the winning trade uh, the winning rate is around 66 percent so this is very interesting to see if we increase one more time let's say one over 40 the margin we're still winning one over 50 so it's doing more or less well but here we're starting to get uh, lower returns as we can see so we are only around 1325 percent which is not what we got in the previous trials and for a margin of one over a hundred we're going to get uh, minus a hundred so it's uh, wiping out the account so as you can see at some point if we take one over ten is giving us very uh, tempting results but then when we increase the margin it's going to be uh, more and more difficult to keep up with the uh, with the amount of losses so let's put these back to 450 and for the first time how about we add the commissions over our trading say four now obviously depending on the commission percentage that we have discarded here your returns might uh, might decrease so instead of 7140 percent in this case if we run this with uh, a small percentage commission we're going to drop down to 1800 percent in returns so still it's a positive and very good result however it's greatly decreased by the commissions and uh, the swap and so on all the fees that you are going to pay you have to take this into account when you are testing your trading strategy so again this is regarding leverage i hope you guys liked it that's all i had to tell you for this video until our next video trade safe and see you next time